Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on into a very surprising LEGO video. Today we got two new reveals for upcoming sets, and y y you remember like, like, maybe like an hour ago how I was talking about those two sets and uh, what they were going to be? Well, we, we know what they are. <laughs> I don't understand. This is from a LEGO certified site, and we have official pictures here for the... Brand new two superhero sets that we were, you know, we were just speculating on it. And um, one of them is so much better than I thought. And one of them is not what I thought, but you know what? I'm impressed. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. So this is set number 76237. And this is available for pre-sale. And you could click the link down below. I'm not even sure what country this is in. Uh, the price is an insane. Uh, again, don't know. But anyways, this is an official product. This is the Sanctuary 2 Endgame Battle. And this has 322 pieces and will be retailing for the rumored price was $69.99 USD or probably $89 or $99.99 Canadian. This is a solid set. Honestly, one of my favorite Infinity Saga sets. I I love this. It's so neat. It goes hand in hand with the brand new Avengers Endgame Compound Final Battle set. And you know what? The figures here are great. I honestly, you know, I wasn't expecting when we heard rumors about the Sanctuary 2 happening. I didn't think that it was going to be a big figure Thanos. But you know what? Uh, I, I'm, I'm really happy with it. I love the Captain Marvel figure there. She looks fantastic. Could have used some leg printing, but like using Rachel's face here as well. The newer one is cool, and I love the hair piece there in tan. That's really great. And getting the Mark 85 Iron Man is perfectly fine. I have no complaints with that. Again, that Thanos figure is really cool looking, and I'm going to assume maybe that's the one in the advent calendar. We'll have to wait and see. But there is an Infinity Gauntlet, but it's gold, so it's not the Nano Gauntlet like in the other set so that's very strange but i like that he does come with his giant butter sword <laughs> it's a little too big for him but captain marvel also has like some power blast pieces but the best part of the set is the sanctuary too like look at that that is amazing i want like another infinity saga version of this for guardians of the galaxy just recolor this i wouldn't even care but it looks great i love all the stickers and everything like the chitari design looks fantastic and just the whole shape of the ship it's just it's so unique like it's just an important part of that movie as well and again this goes hand in hand with blowing up the other set so i really love this and i'm not sure exactly when this is going to be available i'm trying my best to see here it says that this is going to be launching in October. Ugh, it's so far away, but I'm not sure if that is actually going to happen, simply because that Captain Marvel figure has already leaked, which means that it is in production. So it most likely will be releasing in the summer. It's just maybe other stores will have this later on. But I've already talked about this for too long. Let's move on now to this next set, which is set number 76238. This has... 372 pieces is an 18 plus set and is the brand new classic tv batman hoodie i'm assuming that's just a weird translation uh but it's gonna be like the cowl and it looks it looks great i you know i wasn't expecting that at all like i just had zero expectations for getting another dc cowl and i never thought 1966 i think this is gonna sell great and you know what you know why this is better than the other one it's because they don't try and cover up the mouth. Like, I get that there was, like, the chin part and everything, but it just looks so much better on those stands. I quite like this, and it just looks like you could just, like, lift it up. You know what I mean? It's really great. The only complaint that I really have about this is that it has the classic Batman logo there on the stand. The 1966 Batmobile had the other Batman logo, so just for branding, I wish it was consistent, but I think the nose, I'm going to assume, is printed, but the other pieces, they must be stickers, but this is fantastic, looks really, really great, and very, very cool. I'm very happy and impressed by these two. I wasn't expecting these. I, I love that, like, we just sat down, recorded the video, got that out, and then we've got this. So, really, really awesome. I'm glad that we know what these are now, and, you know, you can you can rest now. But, no, honestly, I'm really impressed by these two. I, I love that set. It, it's one of my favorites, and that just 
makes me excited for maybe more Infinity Saga sets. I, I'm really impressed. But anyways, everyone, subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on future news for these themes and reviews specifically for these sets. I'll be having the Avengers sets by the end of the week here on the channel. So I'm very excited about that. Yeah, stick around if you are interested in all that. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next one.